In this tutorial, we'll help you get started translating with Alchemy Catalyst's Translator Lite. Catalyst's interface is divided into panes. The Navigator pane contains all the files and resources for translation. The Workspace area will display all the strings for translation. The Result pane will give us feedbacks on the different tasks that we perform. And the Translator toolbar is where we will enter translations. If you have existing translation memories and glossaries available to reuse your translations, you can add them to your project environment. Click the Active TM and MT tab, click the Add button, and select your translation memory. In the Translator Lite Edition, you'll be able to use the Alchemy software file formats. My project is now added. I can similarly do the same for the glossary. Click on the Term Sources tab, click the Add button and navigate to your glossary file, which can be t txt, tbx or tmx. My tm and glossaries are now inserted. Once attached, the TM matches will be displayed in the Reference tab and the Glossary matches will be displayed in the Terms tab. The Navigator pane contains all the resources for translation. It behaves just like a file explorer. You can expand or collapse the folders or resources contained within the localizable project. Clicking on any individual resource will show in the workspace the string list for translation. There are two buttons of importance in a navigator pane. The first one is show and hide status columns, which is by default enabled. It displays the st different statuses which may be associated to individual resources within the project. It's a toggle to turn it on or off. The second button is to show all strings from the selected point in the navigator pane. So if I click on the top of the project and click on show all strings, Catalyst will render a string list for all resources contained within the project. This is every single file under the folder with the name of the project. If I do the same clicking on a subfolder and click show all strings, I will only show the strings contained in the resources or files contained within the online help folder in this instance. It is important also to, to note that when you click on an AND resource or and file within the folder structure. You do not need to click show all strings, Catalyst will automatically render the string list for that particular resource or file. There are four views available to display the string list in the workspace. The string view, the visual view, the split view horizontally, and the split view vertically. To translate your project, select a desired string in the workspace and enter the desired translation in the translator toolbar. Any available translation match will be displayed in the reference tab and its associated score displayed on the right hand side. To reuse the translation, press get translation and the translation will be populated in the translator toolbar input field. Selecting the second file in this folder in the navigation pane redraws the string list for translation in a workspace. We can select the first string and reuse translations available from the translation memory in the reference tab, clicking on Get Translation. Press Return to move on to the next string and again we can reuse the translation memory. I pressed Alt Home as a shortcut and press Enter moving on to the next string. Again, we have a 100% match and we can reuse this translation. Pressing Alt Home automatically gets the translation. Press Enter to move to the next string. We can do the same again. Press Enter to move to the next string. And now we have no available translation from the translation memory and we need to enter the translations ourselves manually. Depending on the origin of a translation, the status may be different. Translating manually a string will give a for review icon. 
while reusing a translation from a translation memory such as this 100% match will show a leveraged icon. Finally, reusing a translation which is not a 100% match will show a fuzzy match icon. The strings contained within the project for translation may also contain some special information. For example, a memo, which can be reviewed by hovering over the memo icon in the string list or clicking on the properties tab in the bottom right corner. A string may also be locked, which means it simply cannot be translated and can be ignored. Finally, single or multiple words can be selected and marked as keywords, meaning that they should not be translated and should be left alone. Here is an example of this word underlined in blue. Similar to keywords, term matches can be identified with a red overline and a matching term can be reviewed in the Terms tab on the right hand side. To bring in the term, select the associated word and click on the Get Current Term button. And then you can complete the translation. The Quick Find toolbar can help you organize your workspace. In the Look In dropdown, you can find filters to group strings based on their statuses. For example, on translated. This shows all strings that are yet to be translated. Or for review. Showing that one string which has already been translated. It is a good idea to always start your translation work using the duplicates filter. This shows all duplicated strings grouped together. This allows you to translate the first instance and then use this button instantly translate duplicate to automatically translate all duplicates of that string. So we can translate the first string not forgetting to use our term and then instantly translate any duplicates. Using the look for feature you may refine your string list to only contain strings for the text that you enter, for example, dialog. Doing a quick find will show only the strings that contain the words dialog. The strings only displaying the word dialog are based on the translated column. To change the way we search or quick find our strings, click on the quick find options drop down. You may also refine your search by entering more text such as the word bar and clicking on refine quick find. Now we only have two strings left. You can clear your quick find cl clicking on the clear quick find button. To search for a word or a string in your Catalyst project use the advanced find and replace feature. The advanced find and replace will search for your text in the position selected in the navigation pane. This search will be recursive. Alternatively, you can select the current project to look for your text in the entire TTK. Enter the text you wish to search for and select the options of your search. Here we'll look for the word French word bar in the translated field only. The results will be displayed in the advanced find and replace column on the right hand side and clicking on each result will jump directly to that string in your project. At any stage during your translation work, you may check on the statistics of your project. Hover over the Statistic tab to bring the tab into view, and click the Refresh button to recalculate a current word count for the project. Just like the navigation pane, you can expand the different nodes as you would do in your file explorer. Hovering away from the statistics tab will automatically retract it. If you wish to keep it into view, hover over the statistic tab and pin it down using the pin button.